Good afternoon, my turtle ducks. Thank you for joining me for this very special tea. Today, we've got spiced apple cider and strawberry cookies. Today is Lunessa, also called Lammas, the first harvest festival of the Wheel of the Year. It is generally celebrated between the last day of July and sometimes all the way through August 2nd. Lunessa, as the first of our three harvest festivals, is also about gratitude and honoring our dead. As we begin to see the rewards for our hard work in the spring and summer, it is important to remember those who helped us along the way and to remember that we are all part of the cycle. As we collect our crops, whether we do so from a store, from our own gardens, or fields if we are full-time farmers, the plants that produce those crops give up some or all of their life. It is easy not to think about it. Plants look nothing like us. They don't have similar internal structures, and until very recently, we didn't know they could communicate or prioritize others. But they are alive, just like us, part of the cycle. They die so we may live, and one day, hopefully, our deaths will fertilize their soil to give back some. Now, because the majority of us are not full-time farmers, now is an excellent time to support them. Try going to a local's farmer market and exploring what's in season in your area. If you are near any you pick berry operations, that can be a very fun and tasty experience. The most important thing is to help yourself get in sync with your local region and buying what's in season right now from people growing those foods in your local area is a great way to do that. Lunessa also marks the beginning of autumn and the end of summer. It is sort of twilight part of the year, and as such, is a uniquely auspicious time to do something extraordinary. All the doors are still open. All the opportunities of summer and all the potential opportunities of autumn. So if you've been nervous to try something because it seems too big or too ambitious or just too much, try. There's no time like the present to reach beyond what is. All right, time for celebrations in food and decorating. We'll start with colors. We're in full swing with autumn colors of browns, oranges, golds, and reds. Green is still a good choice, but try darker or richer greens. For foods, the most important thing is to use foods that are in season. Where I am, that's a lot of berries, squashes, corn, and beans. But we also have some early apples and root vegetables. Drinks are especially fruity with wine, mead, and apple cider being the most in theme choices. Here at Baba's house, Lunessa is a pretty small affair. We don't do a lot of decorating, and we generally just have seasonally appropriate lunch or dinner, depending on our schedules. This year, I had a little success growing corn, so I plan to make some corn dollies to hang up for good weather and protection. Next year, I hope to have even better results in my garden. Although most of the food will be from our little kitchen garden this year, it would be nice if next year, the entire Lammas Feast could be from our little homestead. Well, that's about it for the basics, and that wraps up our series on the Sabbaths. Thank you for coming. I've got a lot of cooking to do. I hope I'll see you next time. Until then, be kind, my turtle ducks, to others, and to yourselves.